So, as I said, there isn't going to be any real proper content um, for a while, but I'll do some little jobs on some of these cars. Um, so what have I been up to? Well, uh, if I just open the deck lid on this, really all I've done on this one is change the exhaust gaskets there because it was a little bit loud. And when I looked, the gaskets, and this isn't even the worst one, they're as thin as paper and one of them had sort of blown through on the edge of the firing there. So I've been those and I've got some nice uh, copper ones that are in there now. Um, so this is running nice and quietly, which is a, a good start. Got a little bit of a problem with the choke cable because it won't quite come off. The cable's all jammed up in there, so I need to silicon it, free it up. That's not, not jammed up as in permanently stuck. It's just a little bit sticky. Um, but I had this running a few minutes ago and it's running nicely. So I've been doing that. I have also been playing around with an airbrush and I've been tarting up some bits like here there was a run and I sanded it back and cut completely through the paintwork that was there and I've now managed to just spray it in with the airbrush um, so that's quite cool I'm going to be doing that on some little bits where I need to cut some uh, cut some runs out um, and my other job that I need to look at today is I've got yet another carburetor this is the carburetor of the blue car and it has you can't really see it from here but it has a worn throttle shaft or rather the casing is worn where the throttle shaft goes through I've done a temporary fix with some PTFE tape but it really hasn't worked I've chucked so much grease on there to try and pack it out and it's it's just not working so what I'm going to do tonight is take this throttle shaft out and I'm going to use some uh, JB World two-part epoxy putty stuff to try and rebuild the case and close the clearances up. So I'm going to stick some silicon spray on the throttle shaft which will stop it sticking to the JB World as it dries up and then I'm going to see whether or not I can actually get it to go back together. Um, I'm going to clean all of this up and then I'm going to take the throttle shaft out and I'll show you the, uh, the level of play and what that's actually doing to the drivability or lack thereof of the other car. Now I've got loads of videos on problems with these carburetors so I won't spend too long um, on this but suffice to say that hole looks absolutely fine. The shaft looks maybe a little bit warm but not really too bad it's probably easiest to see the problem if i just put that in in reverse there you can literally see the air gap around there now what happens or what seems to be happening on this as you go and open the throttle and this twists around the way that the throttle linkage is set up it pulls and it pulls and it just opens a massive vacuum leak right above the uh, the butterfly there and completely throws the air fuel mixture look at that i mean that's absolutely wallowed out so what i'm going to do is i'm going to get as i say cover that in silicon spray i'm going to wedge in epoxy putty on both sides here both sides at the back i'm going to reinstall the throttle shaft in there make sure it's nice and centered and I'm going to leave it to dry out and then I'm going to remove the throttle shaft and I'm going to file back the faces of the front and the back and the inside of the Venturi in order to make sure that it actually all makes a nice seal so that's my nice dirty job for tonight but hopefully it will make the drivability of the blue car a hell of a lot better than it currently is go okay, well there we go it's it's um it's been reinstalled with 
a lot of epoxy all around it on both ends and I'm really hoping that that silicon spray does work as effectively a uh, mold release agent otherwise I could have a hell of a lot of a job getting that fox spindle back out of there but I think it should work and I think it should seal that up we'll see it's better than the PTFE tape anyway which when I took it apart there was none of it left because apparently it's not quite as fuel proof as I thought it was it's now the next day and as you can see the throttle spindle is no longer inside the carb that's because when I came 24 hours after having uh, set it all up the silicon spray hadn't really worked as quite such a mold release agent as I'd hoped and so when I took the throttle spindle out I had to tap it out and tapping it out also smashed off a lot of the um, the JB weld that was there I think it might not have stuck properly because of a bit of um, oil contamination so what I've done this time is I've cleaned it up properly and I've approached this in a slightly different way so rather than leaving this in situ I wedged an absolute shit ton metric um, of JB Wells down into where the spindle goes into the, 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 the shaft body the body there you go get some words out I shoved a load of JB Weld into the body where the shaft goes I then pushed the throttle shaft in allowed it to make its own hole and then cleaned up the end that was on the inside and slowly drew it out and it had a nice amount of vacuum there which seems to have held the thing in position so I think there wasn't a huge amount of play in there but you can you can see just about if I can get that to focus on there that there is a thin layer of epoxy putty all the way down the inside of there and that should take up the slack but again unfortunately I've now got to wait another 24 hours for that to fully harden before I can stick the throttle spindle back in and see whether or not it's actually got rid of the play so fingers crossed and I'll pick up the video in 24 hours time well I forgot to film most of the reassembly but suffice to say it's now in and there is well, there's no discernible play in there now and we've got a good closing action on the uh, throttle plates the butterfly there so hopefully that will have alleviated some of the issue might not be perfect but I'll put it back on the car and we'll see if it's if it's any better at all or if it's no better at all So as you can hear from that, it's got a nice idle, but aside from there being a large sucking noise, which doesn't sound quite normal, it's dying under throttle. Still, despite having cleaned and changed absolutely everything, like I'm at an absolute loss now so uh, if anyone out there wants to give me any hints as to what on earth I'm doing wrong um, because I genuinely I can't think of anything 
else that would be causing that um, other than an air leak and I can't find a goddamn air leak so fiat people of the world of which there are many and many better than me help a brother out here okay so it's now the next day and I thought I'd uh, throw my Hail Mary pass this morning at this and I pulled off the spacer plate which I thought was Bakelite and wouldn't warp at all because Bakelite tends to crack it's a thermo setting ancient sort of plastic type stuff um, resin turns out it's not actually Bakelite at all it is plastic and it had warped um, and so I got it on a flat surface and I planed it flat with a file and as you can hear it's running now and I'll just walk over there and we'll see the throttle response that one fixed so it's still choked up so it's a little bit loud but it's done we're in 